The Lower East Side is known for its eclectic scene and vibrant nightlife, but it's also a huge part of New York City's history. And today we're at the Tenement Museum on Orchard Street to see why. Hi, Kat. Hi. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here today. I love New York City history and tenements are a big part of that. Can you tell me about the significance? Absolutely. I mean, so here we are in 97 Orchard Street in the hallway of what is now the Tenement Museum. And this building was built in 1863, but by the year 1900, about 70% of New Yorkers live in tenements. And a tenement was really defined just to mean any building with more than three families who each had their own kitchen. And you start to see kind of in the 19th century, the word tenement be used mostly for working class housing. And whereas the word apartment begins to develop for middle, upper class housing. So you have preserved and restored some tenements here on the Lower East Side. Tell me about the experience people have when they come to the Tenement Museum. Sure, so the Tenement Museum is pretty unique. We're all by guided tours that look at different time periods, different families who lived in the building. And so on your tour, you get to step inside of a recreated apartment to hear the story of a, a real tenement resident and um, how we look at their history. So how many rooms are typically in an apartment? So every apartment in this building at 97 Orchard Street is the same size, about 325 square feet with three rooms. This apartment is recreated to the 1890s. This is the home of Harris and Jenny Levine and their five kids. Harris Levine runs a small garment factory from his family's apartment. And this was really common, um, that the Lower East Side in the 1890s, early 1900s, is really the heart of the garment industry, not only for the city, but really for the whole country. Five kids in this apartment and trying to run a business. Wow. There was no running water in this building until 1905. So Jenny, she has to carry buckets of water up from the backyard, wash clothes, wash dishes, boil diapers, and then take it back down to the backyard um, to dump it out. These are the, the bathrooms, and you know, these were put in in 1905. Um, there's two on every floor, and these were shared. So you have, you know, by 1900, even about 110 people living in the building. Um, <laughs> and you imagine all... lines and middle of the night, like, you know, this is a space where you're um, seeing your neighbors, but also um, trying to figure out just like how to go about your day um, oh, and do what you need. Goodness. So by the 1930s, tenements had changed a lot and 97 Orchard Street had changed a lot. We've got electricity um, by 1924, um, but that's late for electricity to come into a building. Um, this is the home of the Baldizi family. Uh, Mom and dad were immigrants from uh, Palermo, Sicily, and Josephine and Johnny are their two New York-born children. Sorry, I'm Sicilian, family from Palermo. My grandmother's name is Josephine, my father's name is John. <laughs> Sorry, the wow. Italians, I'm feeling it in this apartment. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but that's one of the, always the most special pieces of having our museum by tour. These spaces become really powerful ways for people to connect to their family's past. So 97 Orchard is one of the tenement buildings that you have. Tell me about the other. Our other building, 103 Orchard Street, actually stayed a home through the 20th century. These tenements really help us understand the stories over time and the stories of real New Yorkers. It is all so fascinating. Kat, thank you so much for showing me around today. It's been a pleasure.